and as per usual we'll finish off by deleting the logs on internic and then disconnecting another job done we'll see what we've got in the list here Oh, that one sounds interesting, doesn't it? Help stop a hacker from ever working again. Need to discredit them by giving them a computer-related criminal record. Could be quite hard, that one. Sounds like fun, though. Oh, there we go. There's another financial detail job. And another one. So I want to do these last two in the list here. Yep, I think we'll do these two first. Well, next. Need a load of a connection. Oh, wait a minute. Didn't mean didn't mean to connect there. We'll best connect back to internet and get rid of the logs, even though we haven't done a mission. I don't want it to uh, spoil me game just because I accidentally connected somewhere and then never deleted the logs. That I see it, I'm sorry. Alright, we want to load the connection, and then double click on the smart PLC bank. To make the last connection in the loop, and then I input that account number there: five four three seven nine two nine. Get me password breaker out. Give it full power. See how much money he's got in his bank. So I've got the reply email ready there. So I just need to view his account. There we go. Balance 2340. Take that straight in and send it. Mission complete. We'll disconnect. Connect straight back to internet as per usual. Delete those pesky logs. Remember, it's the connection from rooted to that you need to get rid of, as well as the password authentication accepted. Always get rid of those two. Do it quick enough and you should be safe from any uh, tracebacks. Congratulations on your recent success. We've been following your career, blah -de blah blah blah. going to encounter harder computer systems which are more secure. It's a good idea to buy the HUD connection analyzer to get around certain new systems I'm going to be encountering. All sounds good. I'm now skilled. You're damn right I am. I feel like I am anyways. Let's get straight on and do this next uh, financial detail mission old hack now, we'll do these quite quickly, get straight in and out, we know what we're doing. Now we've made Virtual Net Bank the last connection in the list. We'll put in Andrew Chappell's account number, open the password breaker, give it full power. done and we're in. There's his balance there. 1.3 million, eh? 
Well, I might be keeping hold of his details to do a, a bank mission later on. It'll definitely be worth it with the amount of money he's got in his bank account. Anyways, I've got the completion email back there. We'll just connect it in the nick. Guess what we're doing? Yep, you've guessed right, we're deleting those logs. Be deleting logs in your sleep by the time you finish playing this game, I tell you. It's always good to get into it, uh, a good habit though. Got a few more missions left here. Now there we go, look. My new modem's been installed, so I should be able to uh, copy stuff a lot quicker. Got a nice healthy bank balance there. I think we'll uh, connect to internal services. I think it is time to buy that uh, HUD connection analysis. There's only the one version, but it is 20 grand. But we do need it. Got a nice firewall bypass there. It's only worth buying the, the best version. 10 grand for that. And we need the proxy bypass, we'll buy the top version of that. Christ, that's another 20 grand. Well, I'm gonna need it anyways, I might as well buy it. There's 50 grand spent, straight away. I don't think it's worth buying anything else just at the moment. Nah, no, that'll do. Buy this uh, social security document if I can. Eh? We'll load up a saved connection. We'll make the social security database the last one in the list by double clicking on it. There we go. Look, there's the HUD connection and the analyzer showing there that there's a monitor and a proxy. I believe if I get me a uh, password break, I won't do this. And then also put me proxy bypass on. That should allow us to change the records in the database. If I didn't have that proxy bypass on, I would only be able to view the records. I wouldn't actually be able to make and save any changes on any of the records themselves. But now that proxy's on, I can. If I had a monitor bypass, I don't think I'd be getting traced right now if I had a place that before I started the password breaker. But I don't know if that always works, I'm not too sure. But anyways, we're good for now. Let's search the records. Let's type in Dan Featherstone. Go, search for him. Then we need his personal status to read deceased. He's not going to be receiving any benefits for a while, then, is he? Sorry, Dan. There we go, that's updated, done. I'm not sure if I need to do this. but will delete me a uh, log to say that somebody logged in eh? And straight back to internet. Get rid of those logs, linking my IP to the rest of the damage that I've done. Disconnect from internet. Send the email to say we've done it. 
Get the completion email back in its place. Lovely jubbly. Oh, that's that uh, stop a hacker from working again, isn't it? Need to open his criminal record and give him a conviction for high tech fraud. Should be quite similar to what I've just done. There's a global criminal database in the middle there. I'll click on it twice to make it the last in the loop. I'll log in. Oh, wait a minute. I'm not going to be able to do that. I don't have an elliptic curve encryption thingy my doodah yet. Yeah, I could, I could hack that, but there's no point. You need to do both of them to get into the system, and I can't. I don't have an elliptic, elliptic curve cracker yet. Damn. Let's get rid of those pesky logs, anyways. Destroy rival software in development. Destroy all files you find. You must also ensure all backups are totally wiped as well. Should be able to do that one. We are connected to UniNet computers now. I think I'm going to need to use the proxy bypass. Quite possibly the firewall bypass, I believe, as well. Let's break the password. Now, because I need to destroy every single file, it would take quite a while if I just used the normal file delete I'd do in every file one by one. So, for missions like this, you need to know a handy little trick, which I'll show you now. Instead of going to the file server, go to admin and then console, type in cd user, well usr, that will take you to the user directory, then type delete and hit enter, and that will automatically delete one after the other every single file that you need to delete. As that's doing it, type in exit, just in case you haven't got much time to play with. Once it's finished deleting all the files, hit enter with exit typed in and that'll pop you out of the console there you are again I'm not sure if I really need to do that but we'll uh, delete the log on logs and the console log And then we'll jump back to internet to delete the usual logs as well. So even though it's quite a quick mission, I like that one. Having to use the old DOS style commands. Oh, we have not heard word yet that the damage has been done. Alright, ah, I think I, I need to wait for the uh, the press to get hold of that. I'll be able to do this one though, Adelphi. Similar type of mission. But again, I think I need to wait for the... Uh, after I've done the mission, I need to wait for it to be released in the press before the actually pays for doing the mission successfully. But yeah, like I said, I like using the old uh, DOS style commands in the... Uh, in the console there, that was quite fun. So as you can see, again, use the proxy and the firewall bypass in the HUD connection analyzer, and then use the uh, password cracker. 
and we're in. Go straight to admin and console, type in CD USR, then hit enter. Type in delete, hit enter. Once it's finished deleting the files, you can type in exit and hit enter again. Or like I say, you can type in exit now while it's doing it, and then wait until it's finished and then hit enter. There we go, file server shows nothing but clean space. We'll disconnect. Reconnect into Nick. Yet again, we're going to delete the logs. Make sure we can't be traced back. Because if you are, it's game over. And you can't get to any save game to come back before that happened. That's your save game gone basically so you really do need to be careful that one's copying a large database no I really don't think I've got the space for it at the moment I haven't got too much cash that other one stop the hacker from working again I needed the elliptic curve for that, didn't I? Yeah. I think I'm going to be best off just going to internal services, keeping an eye on the uh, new server, and waiting for news of those two jobs coming through. And I can send off the completion emails and get the rest of my money for them. Then I think I better nip out by the elliptic curve encryptor to do this next mission. I'm gonna need some more memory at some point as well so I can do these uh, copy and large database missions. Nothing comes through yet. Skip time a bit. There we go, we've got a couple through there now. 